Wait, no, well, hang on. You asked if, some, if, if we sure. had any example of something coming from nothing. No. Correct. As far as you know, in any kind of scientific history, has that ever happened? No. Nope. Including God. Have any... you ever had an example of a uh, supernatural being who creates universes out of nothing and uh, personally listens to the lives of uh, every single one of the six billion people on Earth and either just came from nothing or was always there? Well, that's not what I'm saying. That's what science is saying. Okay. Well, no, we no. don't have an example of anything coming from nothing. Correct. And then that's, then that's great because that's what the Big Bang Theory is saying. No, it no it's not. If, you're, if you can say that, you don't understand the Big Bang Theory. Well, I, I understand the scientific method. And the first part is, is observation. Uh -huh. And you can't prove it to be a fact unless you observe it. Now, yeah, but if you, you don't were, take you, the historical accuracy of the Bible. Okay, man okay. Will throw out every history book. Stop, stop. Ever written. Stop. Hang on. You're okay, going down. You're going down this really uh, common bad road of absolutes. Oh, you can't. You can't prove anything that you can't have seen or witnessed. Um, the orbital period of the of the former planet Pluto is two hundred and some odd years. Yet we have not known about. Pluto's existence or observed it long enough to know that it actually takes that long to go around it. We haven't even been able to observe it for one, one full rotation yet, and yet we know what its orbital period is. Um, we don't have to observe the whole thing. And well, I'm just, I'm just right. throwing so, back with, this, with the, you know, the scientific method. Yeah, that. but you are misunderstanding because you're throwing out this claim that what science says is if you don't personally witness something, then, it, then you can't say it happened. And that's just not true. And that's not the there scientific are, method? I mean, then I must, I must be reading a different scientific method. Apparently you are. You should stop okay. reading science books by creationists. See, if you, the, the thing is, is that you're, what you're doing is creating, committing a logical fallacy because the observation is that the universe exists. We've made that observation and now we're going to see if we can find out what the explanation for this is. Your method where you're saying that you have to have observed the universe beginning. Well, no, no, it's not that my method, that's frogs, the scientific method. That leap, the scientists are the ones that are saying it's a fact. No, I'm well, sorry. Saying what's a fact? <laughs> well, you name it, evolution. Evolution um, is a fact. Change over time is a fact. Well, there's, okay, well, I've Just never seen get, any transitional forms. You, well, then you, you haven't, haven't looked go to talkorigins.org. The only reason you haven't seen this stuff is because you haven't looked or because oh, you're sure disregarding them. Because what hey. happens is, what happens is, every time, let's say, in the, in the process from um, man and, and our common ancestor with apes, every time... Uh, you've, you've got the two, you find an early one, and they say, look at that big gap in between there. And then you find a transitional form, and it goes here, and the creationist says, nope, that's either a human or an ape. And then they also say, and now you've got two more gaps. So you fill in those gaps, and you've got four gaps. And then they go through, basically you could line up a progression from the common ancestor that we share with modern apes to today's human, a, a process of skulls of everyone that's ever lived. And a creationist would walk along there and go, ape, 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 ape. Man, and what, that's absurd. They're one denying of my, the, the bigger picture. One of my favorite pages on Talk, Talk Origins, for example, uh, is this page which has all these skulls that you're talking about, and then they list what all the creationists say about them. You know, some of them say they're apes, and some of them uh, say they're people, but right around the middle of it, they can't agree. They get exactly like a 50-50 split of the people who are looking at them. Half of them say, Those, that's definitely an ape, and half of them say, that's definitely a person. But why are there still apes? Because we didn't come from apes. Man and apes share a common ancestor. Right. If Americans came from uh, Europeans, then why are there still Europeans? Okay. If bald All people, right. you know, it's... <laughs> Well, it, it, everything, in my opinion, points to uh, intelligent design. Really? You know? Like what? Like the fact that, that I have one tube, which, can, which I use for breathing and food so that I can choke yeah. to death and suffocate? That's, abs that's, that's really stupid design. <laughs> well, okay, for every example you have of that, uh, I, there's another one for it. I mean, the human but, eye. But, I mean, isn't the guy... <laughs> even the most so single, human eye, so the... The single-celled organism contains uh, tons of data. It all points to uh, intelligent design. It act, nothing no, points to it intelligent doesn't. design, which is why the intelligent design folks aren't providing any evidence. They're lobbying. 
Okay, and ultimately we all end up in the same place. In the ground. That's correct. Pretty in the much, ground. Yep. So in Hitler and Mother Teresa are in the same exact place right now. Yes. Why yes. do you think that there should be this kind of cosmic justice, and why do you think Mother Teresa is a particularly good person? I'm personally fine well, with because, Hitler uh, being in the I ground because. A sense of right or wrong. Wait, wait a minute. I'm and personally. I know society, hold it. Hold it. How do you get to heaven? Under your system of belief. Uh, uh, love and uh, love and uh, serve mankind and love and worship God. Well, that's okay. So basically, as long as you uh, take the God stuff seriously and and worship God, then you go to heaven regardless of your actions. Isn't that right? No, according no, to no, Protestantism, you know, there's two parts. It's to love and serve mankind as well. Um, that's not what I've heard from other apologists, uh, in, well, including one of my favorite... What if I spend my whole life loving and serving mankind, but I, I don't love and worship that God that you claim exists? Am I going to hell? Well, I would say definitely not. Oh, you um, would? Okay, so, you then know, we're then, you, then, then I'll say the same thing I said last week. If that's the case, and belief in God is not a requirement, and you're... you're thing is that you just need to love and, and work for the good of humanity, then you have a the useless of, of the God. God. You have a useless God. If God isn't required, if I can live my life and not believe in him and, and, and do whatever, as long as I'm doing good things and I go to heaven, then your God isn't required and he's useless. It's a concept. Well, no, if, he, if he's the ultimate judge, then there's no way to determine what's right or from wrong. And if you say society dictates, What's so, right and what's are wrong. we talking about Society the same God who? Mission. Are we talking about the same God who once ordered armies of soldiers to go to neighboring towns and slaughter everybody except the young women so they could take them as their unwilling yeah, wives? Yeah, we're we're talking about the same God that. So has, that's the guy who gives you your ultimate sense of right and wrong. Oh, oh, so 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 you're gonna you're gonna look at the the things that you consider to be good bits like love thy neighbor and thou shalt not kill, mm -hmm. and ignore the that that this God supposedly sent people out to kill entire towns and keep the virgins okay. for themselves. Well, that's why the Bible is in two parts. You have the Old Testament where God does appear. So to in, the, the, Bi Old in the Old Testament is in oh. the, the Ten Commandments are oh. in the Old Testament. <laughs> right, and Jesus Christ is not. Right. Uh, and, so and throw out the Ten so Commandments. So let's chuck the Ten Commandments. For our sins, to me, kind of separate it. Okay, so that, so that God who, uh, you know, ordered this mass slaughter and rape was the same guy, but he changed his mind. Well, I'm not familiar with, uh, with the, the raping thing that you mentioned. Do but, you uh, have some stuff? Or the, you probably can't look well, up in time. There's no guarantee, but I mean, if you slaughter an entire town and take 32,000 virgins, um, you don't think that they had sex with them? Uh, well, regardless, who cares if they raped them? <laughs> they went and killed everybody and kept the virgins. Do you For think the that, that is morally good? For the purpose of taking those virgins. Do you think that is morally good? Oh, absolutely not. Which then, is why then how can comes you into the picture. But it's God that ordered that action, and you're saying that Jesus is God. So basically you're saying that sometime at this, this dividing point between an Old Testament and a New Testament, this asshole, evilly, morally bankrupt God suddenly turned into this love thy neighbor, turn the other cheek God. You kind of kind of getting it. Uh, yeah. I would okay. agree. Yeah, I, I'd, well, suggest, that would, I'd nice suggest that if you, if you accept that, and you can disregard that your God, your God was an, an, an immoral monster, and just latch onto the to the to the new stuff. Um, you're morally bankrupt as well. And if you actually read and study what's in the New Testament, these these concepts that Jesus brings forward, there's an idea of eternal suffering and torture in exchange for a finite crime, which is by definition infinitely more morally corrupt than killing a, a town full of people. So, so your Jesus you is no better and you've used up way too many? much of our time talking about 30 different freaking issues. Visit talkorigins.org, get some information. Visit infidels.org, learn a little bit more. Read your Bible. The content of this video is produced by the Atheist Community of Austin, a nonprofit educational organization promoting positive atheism and the separation of church and state. If you enjoyed this content and are willing and able to provide a donation, please visit the website below.